Hello, Mr. Clark, and this time we are going to be talking about the surface area of pyramids. Okay, remember last time we talked about the surface area of cones. This is going to be very similar, only instead of having a circular base, you're going to have a polygonal base or a polygon shaped base. Once again, we'll start with a line segment and we'll call it H, just like in the cone. Only this time, instead of intersecting a circle at the bottom, it can inter intersect any polygon. Let's start with a simple one. Let's start with a square. Well, that's not too good because it's supposed to hit the square right in the middle. Okay. So let's say that this is the center of the square. Doesn't look like it, use your imagination. This time, we're gonna connect the end of the height, the top of the height, with each corner of the polygon, each apex of the polygon. And this is an approximation of what a pyramid would look like, something like that. Okay. Not a very good artist, but you get the idea. Okay. So on this thing, we're once again going to look for um, our lateral area and our base, okay? In this case, the area of this base is just going to be side squared. So we're going to have the surface area equals the lateral area plus S squared, okay? Again, we're going to have a slant height. You have to imagine that as being the height of this triangle. Each triangular facet has a height, and they'll all be equal, okay? Very similar to the slant height of the cone, and we again call this the slant height. Only we won't, we won't call, call it by SH, we'll call it by L, okay? So we have the height, the slant height, and in the case of a square base, a side of S. Our base area, of course, is S squared. Now we have a new um, formula. Okay, well, I guess I should have written this down first. So It's one half the slant height times the perimeter of the base. Whatever the perimeter is, we multiply it by the slant height, divide it by two, and we get the surface area of the lateral area. And then the base, again, it depends on what kind of polygon it is. And then we use the formula for that polygon, okay? So we need to know the perimeter of this. Well, we know what the perimeter of a square is. The perimeter of a square is 4S, right? One plus S plus S plus S plus S, 4S. One half of 4s would be 2s. And then times the slant height. This is not so much a formula that you need to know. This is the formula that you need to know. The surface area of a pyramid is one half the slant height times the perimeter plus the base, plus the area of the base. In the case of a square, then we just worked out that it's 2SL plus the base. Oh, the base, in that case, then would be 4S. Or S squared, sorry. Okay. So that's for a square shape base. So if we were to get an example, where this was a square pyramid, S was equal to four, and the slant height was equal to seven, then we can calculate the surface area of the pyramid. Just put it into this formula, two times the side, that's four, 
times the height, slant height, 7, and then plus the side of the base squared, that would be 4 squared, or 16. 2 times 4 is 8, times 7 is 56. That answer would be 72. Notice there's no pi this time, there's no circles involved. Okay? Let's try it with a different type of pyramid besides a square pyramid. What if we have a rectangular pyramid? And this rectangle's dimensions are 6 by 3, and the slant height is 8. Well, to find the surface area, we feed it into this formula. Okay. So the slant height is 8. We'll go ahead and multiply that by 1 half and get 4. And then the perimeter is going to be 6 plus 3 plus 6 plus 3. 6 plus 3 is 9. Do it again. That's 18. Okay. So half of 8 is 4 times 18 is 72. And now we need to know what the area of the base is. Well, we know that the area of a rectangle is the length times the width. So 6 times 3, 18. Answer here is 90. One more example. What if I gave you a triangular pyramid? Okay where the base was a triangle. We have some point out here that serves as the height, the top of the height. Okay, and we have a triangular pyramid. Once again, to find the surface area, we find the area of the base. Let's say that we know that the height of this triangle is three. And the sides of this triangle are 6, 4, or 3, and 4. These numbers won't work, but just bear with me. They're, it's not an actual triangle. But anyway. Okay, to find the surface area of this pyramid. Oh, and then a slant height of 7 again. Okay. So, to find the surface area of this thing, it would be 1 half. The slant height is 7, and the perimeter of this, then I just add up the sides, 6 plus 3 plus 4, that's 13. And then the base, we have a height for the base, which is 3, okay? To find the area of a triangle, it's 1 half base times height, okay? The base is 4, and the height is 3. 1 half 4 times 3 is 6. So the area of this triangular base is 6. I don't know what all that stuff is. I'll put it in my trusty calculator. And we have 7 times 13 divided by 2. Oh, can't get this right. 7 times 13 divided by 2. It's 45.5. or up here, 45.5 plus 6, and that's going to be 51.5. All right, there's an assignment out there for you. Give it a try. Let me know if I can help. Thanks.